Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Here on the channel you'll find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and weaving, all of the fibre related things. Today's video is a shop update video for anyone who might be new to the channel. You may not be aware that I run a small online yarn shop. Um, it used to be a bricks and mortar yarn shop but sadly the landlord of the building I was renting sold the building um, a little while ago and I had to move out of the shop which was my little baby it was a bit heart-wrenching at the time and I now just run a little online concern from my home. I know that this kind of video might not be of interest to many people out there. I know that there'll be lots of out people out there who are just here for the making content uh, and I completely understand and appreciate that and this is why I try to keep these videos as little self-contained videos so if you're not interested then hopefully you can just skip over this one and join me for the next making video which hopefully will be coming up later on this week. But for those of you who are interested in the goings on at my little on online shop I'm very grateful for your interest and I have quite a few things to share with you. It's been a little while since I've done a shop update video, a shop news video and so I'm a little bit behind. I'm not going to share everything with you today but I'm going to try and get back in the habit of posting these um, on a more regular basis. I say that all the time and then time just gets away from me. Anyway, in today's video I've got a couple of new publications to share with you. Um, three new collections or new lines from Opal Sock Yarn and I've also got lots of lovely Emma Ball products to share with you as well for you Emma Ball fans out there. I know a lot of you like me love Emma Ball's designs. I'm going to try and whiz through this relatively quickly. If there is anything that you were be interested in hearing a little bit more about then do let me know. I have been wondering whether there might be interest in me doing a few sort of short videos where I do a little bit of a deeper dive into some of the products that I stock in Yarn and Yarn's shop. Um, if there is anyone out there who's interested in that and has specific things in mind then please do let me know in the comments below because I'd be happy to make a few shorter videos concentrating on one or two things. All of the links to the website pages will be in the description box below and there'll be more details about all of these products on their individual pages. Right, let's start with publications. I've got two lovely publications from Liner to share with you and they're both um, recent, they're both out now. I did have these on pre-order but they're now both out in the world and I've still got, I think, maybe two copies left of each, so not too many, but um, yeah, there's still time to grab these publications if you're interested. First off is um, Neons and Neutrals and I love this um, bright, sort of shocking fluorescent fuchsia pink. This is a collaboration uh, with Amy Gillet of La Bienne May and this is the second collaboration that Lina have done. The first was Worsted. Again Amy has brought together a collection of patterns from different designers um, sh showcasing neons and neutrals. <laughs> you may have already seen a lot of buzz about this book out there online and um, there are some lovely designs in this book. There are some that I think would be um, maybe designs that either that you're either going to love or won't be for you but there are also quite a few in here that I think would make lovely additions to anyone's wardrobe. So I'll just share with you a couple but if you do want a sort of proper rundown and a book review then please do let me know. Um, so let me share with you the Wervel um, which is a beautiful colour work sweater. The second is a beautiful vest with some lovely texture. Um, it's the U vest. Isn't that beautiful? And of course there aren't just garments in here, there are accessories as well. Um, there are some shawls, I think there's a hat. Let me try and find accessory pattern for you. Oh, there's a cowl as well. Alicoit, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. A-L-I-Q-U-O-T. And look at that. So beautiful. Um, so yes, I've still got a couple of copies of Neons and Neutrals if you might be interested in that one. And then also the highly anticipated volume two of the 52 Weeks of Socks publication has also just hit the shelf. This one was just released at the end of March. So yeah, 52 sock patterns and there are a huge variety of different socks in this book. And if you 
have bought any of the 52 weeks books before you'll know exactly what you're in for again be a beautiful selection of patterns beautiful beautifully photographed and yeah a little bit of something for everyone who is a sock knitter i think whether you want a sort of more simple design or something that's going to challenge you a little bit more i think there'll be something in here for you there's beautiful lace cables um, plenty of color work um yeah a little bit of everything I'm trying to find some pictures some of these pictures are on pages with pattern notes so absolutely gorgeous i love this one um the lewis or the louise hopefully you've been able to see some of those and it's a little bit tricky for me to see whether the camera is focusing when I'm hidden behind it um but yeah I think as I say a little bit of something for everyone in this book and I do understand that the cover prices are or seem a little bit more expensive for these publications i think this one for instance is about 35 pounds um, but you get 52 patterns in there so i think when you break that down pattern by pattern it's really good value and 52 sock patterns is going to keep you going for many years to come i think or at least it would for me <laughs> So those are the two new publications from Liner that I have. Um, again, I've only got a couple left of each of those, but you might have time to grab yourself a copy if you are quick. On to um, some new yarn lines that have just come in from Opal. I've actually, I think I've got four or five altogether, but I'm just going to share a few with you today. So first up, Opal have relaunched for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> the opal vincent van gogh range so this was first this range was first available i think probably about 12 years ago now and then a couple of years ago and uh, maybe a year ago they bought it back and it was so popular they've decided to bring it back again um, i've only got a small stock of this now because it was really popular last time and i'm not sure how many of you out there did not grab yourself um the colorways that might have attracted you from the vincent van gogh range uh, so yeah i've restocked um, if there is huge demand, then I can probably restock again. But I've only got, again, a few of the, each of these colourways available. So these colourways are all inspired by different paintings by Vincent van Gogh. We have the beautiful sunflowers and probably the um, Starry Night are the most two most famous ones. But there are lots of other beautiful colourways in this range as well. So again, that is now available. Vincent van Gogh is back again. <laughs> and they're now available on the website. Something a little bit different for me, at least, for the first time, I am stocking some double knit Opal yarn. So for you fans of Opal that are looking for some thicker socks that might knit up slightly quicker, <laughs> I have you covered. And so I have got the Wilder Winter range in stock at the moment. And there are, I think, six beautiful colors altogether. Let me see, yeah, six beautiful colors available. It's really hard for me to juggle these. <laughs> I don't think I can hold them all up at once. These are 150 gram balls. <laughs> so I think for most people's feet, you could probably get a pair of socks out of a ball with the extra yarn in there. Can you see those? <laughs> Beautiful colorways. Um, some of them are speckled which are really nice and some of them are striped um so this for instance is one of the speckly ones let me see if i can get slightly closer in on the label i don't think that entirely focused but it gives you a bit of an idea and again all of these pictures are featured on the um, collection page on the yarn and yarns website so if you are interested in the wilder winter and you want to take a closer look at any of those colors the links will be below and you'll be able to see the pictures a little bit better on the website at least i hope you will <laughs> any problems do let me know and then finally for new lines from opal and i think this one might be my favorite i probably shouldn't have favorites but i do like that this one is um, slightly different in its patterning or at least um, I've not seen too many Opal yarn lines come out like this. I don't think we get all of the yarns that um, Opal release um, here in the UK, but we do get a good selection of them at least. And I really enjoy this one because of the slightly different striping pattern. So this is the Opal Beauty range, and this is the Wellness collection. This is the second collection, at least, that we've had here in the UK of the Beauty range. And 
this yarn is slightly different in that it is suffused with elderflower and vitamin E which makes it slightly softer than the sort of regular opal yarn that you might be used to and apparently so say <laughs> the edelweiss and the vitamin e are meant to be really nice on your hands and on your feet um, when you wear them look at this glorious collection of colors i absolutely love these these are definitely sort of screaming spring and summer to me although there is one here which i particularly like and it's called ice bath and it's got grays and blues and this um, sort of beigey orange running through it and yeah i just really enjoy these yarns and the reason that i'm really like the colour patterns. Um, let me try and show you one of the slightly brighter ones. It might show on the label a little bit more. Again you can see the pictures a bit clearer on the website um, and you might be able to see it in the ball also. You get these stripes of colour. Isn't this one so summery? Um, and in between each of the stripes you get a smaller um, little section of these almost like a checker effect of this I would say it's a deep blue and a white um, maybe that's just my eyes in today's light but yeah you get these tiny little stripes um, separating the the larger stripes I really like the patterning design on this one in particular I think it's something a little bit different so yeah I'm not sure how well that's coming across in the little picture on the ball band maybe this one will show it a bit better because um it's got various blues in and i think you can kind of see those little white sections coming through in the ball there um so that's the opal beauty wellness collection um and yeah i really love that one i think i might be unless they sell out really quickly i might be snuggling a ball or two of these for myself and then finally I have some new products in from Emma Ball. Um, these have been in for a few weeks so you may have seen them if you follow Yarn and Yarns over on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I'm trying to get better again at posting or cross posting to Facebook. I keep forgetting to do that so I'm, yeah I'm trying to improve that but over on Instagram I do try and share as many things as I can remember to do so. So I've got lots of new project bags in. I've got some new tins, storage tins, and what else have I got? I've got some cards. Oh, I've even got some bookmarks this time. And a lot of this has been inspired by the brand new Crafty Gnomes collection um, from Emma Ball. And hey, if you followed for any length of time, you know my slight obsession with gnomes. So I couldn't resist in stocking up on this beautiful design. So this, for instance, is the project notebook. And if I hold it out and open, I think this gives a really clear indicator of the beautiful crafty gnomes design. If you've not seen these before, they're really lovely notebooks. Um, one side is a lined sort of sheet of paper and the other side is a gridded um, page so you can keep all of your project notes you can do your own scribbles your own little designs if you choose to do so um, and then in the front and the back covers of these there's lots of useful information there are common gauges for most of the um, popular yarn weights there's a us uk needle and crochet hook conversion chart um, so yeah lots of useful information inside that notebook as well as all of the beautiful space for you to keep track of your projects i've also for the first time decided to grab some of these beautiful magnetic bookmarks that um, emma ball does in this lovely crafty gnome design i really love these and i love these for when i'm working from my project books because these sort of bookmarks open up they've got oh, <laughs> i don't want to oh, i will open one let me open one I'm going to keep one of these anyway so who am I kidding <laughs> I love this um, type of bookmark because they have these magnetic strips inside so um, you can place it over the top of your page which means when I'm working from a pattern in one of my project books I can easily slide that in and look, I'm holding that upside down now that is not going anywhere so it's really easy to pop that in to keep track of where I am in my book and whether it be a reading book or a pattern book and that's not going anywhere so you'll easily find your way back to your pattern or your space in your book and you have to go some really to dislodge this bookmark once it's in 
uh, give me that a good shake and that bookmark is clinging on for dear life <laughs> So yeah, I've got a few of those in the shop and um, they do come in some of the other beautiful Emma Ball designs. So um, if they're popular and if there's any other design you'd like to see these um, in, then I'd be happy to look at stocking them. Um, but for now, I've got the beautiful crafty gnomes. I also have two sizes of the crafty gnomes tins. I've got the, um, I think that one's the mini and this one's the pocket, if I remember correctly um, so these are great for putting your little um, stitch markers your notions um, I use this size in my notions bag because there's enough room in here it's got a flip top there's enough room for a small pair of scissors a dining needle um, and plenty of stitch markers and a tape measure in that one um, and this one I quite often have these I've got quite a few of these now um, that I have them tucked inside some of my project bags if I know I'm going to need stitch markers uh, and needle stoppers I can um, certainly fit those into the smaller tin um, so they're really handy I think to have in my project bags for when I'm out and about and I might need um, a stitch marker or two um, so yes I've got those two in the crafty gnomes range again isn't that design just so much fun I really enjoy that and of course I do have project bags in that same crafty gnome design did I bring the zip project bag yes I did um, so I've got the drawstring bag I love these they are huge um, they have gone up slightly in price recently hasn't everything <laughs> I still think they're great value I think off the top of my head they're less than 15 pounds and you can fit so much yarn in this I've got a baby blanket project in one of mine at the moment and there's plenty of room for all of the yarn that I need this one has got cute patchwork hexagons inside so yeah I've got that in the drawstring and also the zip design the zip design is smaller slightly cheaper um, so that one is a great um, sort of two skein project sort of size I think that's it for the crafty gnomes range oh I do have a couple of um, greetings cards as well so again all of these products will be linked below if you're interested um, or you can just go and search crafty gnomes on the website and it will bring up all of the listings that contain products from the crafty gnomes range finally for crafty gnomes I also have the stitch markers and I've got both style of stitch markers these are really really hard for me to show on camera but I've got these with the rings and I also have the lobster claw um, the lobster sort of claw stitch markers as well so you can use them for crochet or for progress keepers um, or I've got these lovely sort of oval ones that are sort of standard slip over your knitting needles so yeah I think that's everything for crafty gnomes but there were some new other sort of bag designs as well so I've got if gnomes aren't your thing <laughs> then I've got a few other things that might interest you as well so I have the new felted sheep design and there's been a couple of other sheep designs before um, we've got the sheeps in sweaters are very popular from Emma Ball but these ones are a little bit more sort of realistic they're not sort of dressed up <laughs> in anything they're just a gorgeous um, selection of a beautiful sheep hanging out under blue sky in their field looking very pleased with themselves so that's the felted sheep I also have some butterflies which is a new design too look at those aren't they pretty love those I have the felted sheep in a zip style as well and then finally I have some Janie Crow designs for all you crochet fans out there. Um, Janie Crow and Emma Ball have collaborated on a few new designs based on some of Janie Crow's popular patterns. And I've got um, a couple of different designs in those ranges. So I've got the Persian tiles and I've got the drawstring bag and I have the zip bag in that design. And then I have the drawstring bag also in the... I think this one's magic lanterns uh, mystical lanterns hit myself in the face then <laughs> so yeah I've got those two in the shop now available for purchase too so that's everything that was a bit of a whistle whistle stop tour I feel like I rushed through that a little bit um, but hopefully you got a good glimpse of everything new in the shop maybe you've seen something that you'd like to treat yourself to <laughs> 
um, if you would then I would be very happy to package up some of these things with love and send them out to you um, but even if there isn't anything that you have seen today then I appreciate your interest if you're looking for other ways to support me my business um, and the things that I do here on the channel you could also sign up to patreon if you don't need to purchase anything right now um, or you could also leave me a coffee donation um, should you choose to do so if that's within your capabilities I truly appreciate all of the help that I am getting at the moment it's a real struggle for everyone out there I know and small businesses like mine are <laughs> trying to cling on um, by the skin of their teeth at the moment so yeah anything that you purchase or any way that you choose to support me is always appreciated and I am truly grateful for um, all of the wonderful community that has grown around this channel right I'm gonna wrap things up I need to get this edited and up on the channel and I'll be back again soon with some more making content I hope and um, there'll be another video coming this week we shall see if I get time to finish editing two videos this week hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> I need to tidy up this whole mess of books yarns project bags that I've now created in front of me. looks like it has been raining yarn project bags and beautiful pattern books in front of me which is you know not a bad thing but <laughs> I need to get this all tidied up so um, thank you so much for being here I hope you will join me for the next video until we do get to do spend time together again I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy great big woolly hugs to you all bye for now bye <laughs>